Let me go. Would you get these straps off of me? They're trying to kill me in here. I need morphine and more clonazepam. Coming in. Let me go. Guys, hey. listen to me. What are you even doing, We're man? trying to save your life. Hey, hey, what are you putting in me right now? Okay, there are drugs leaking into your abdomen. We're giving you activated charcoal to absorb them before they hit your bloodstream. Uh, We're uh, dosing him a little over my comfort zone. It's calming him down. I don't want another package to rupture. What's happening? Travis, I need to know what exactly was in those packages that you swallowed. Am I right that it's cocaine? Yeah. Okay, well, we're giving you things that will manage your heart rate. Can you get it out of me? I'll take care of you. I messed everything up. Well, it doesn't matter now. I'm scared of jail. And then if I made some money in there, I would send it back to Kim and the baby. She smuggled cocaine. I was going to pay those guys back. Okay, well, Dr. Reed's going to take you to surgery. I'm going to get those bags out before another one ruptures. Do you understand? Am I going to die? I don't want to die before I meet my daughter. This guy's like a piñata. But it's full of drugs instead of cheap candy. Oh, well, this candy is not cheap. He's lucky they didn't burst when he was beaten up. Can you suction some of this charcoal? I can't see anything. At least he had a plan. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, nearly there. Wow, this one is in the small bowel. Got it. Nice. Oh, my God. Okay, saline, lots of it. Uh, you flush, I'll suction. I just have to get the rest of them out. I can't have another one bursting. Heart rate and BP are up. I'm gonna try to ease them down. Alex, we need to get that last bag out. We need to flush. Yeah, I know. All right. Okay. That's it. Okay. Saline. Get that suction ready. Got it. Let's go. Follow me in here. Yeah? Okay. Good. Okay. Dr. Sharp. Still elevated. More saline. Okay, I think that we've got it all. Dr. Sharp, how are we doing? It's good. Looks like he's stabilizing. Yes. All right, I'll take the tumescents now. 15 cc's of epinephrine. Come on now. Number 15. I'll take retractors and my facelift scissors. You really gonna do it that way? Well, it branches less from bottom to top than it does from top to bottom. Remind me never to take you to a knife fight. No, sugar. Looks like I'm gonna need about 12 centimeters up here. Four sips and loop. If I were any further up inside, this guy would be a sock puppet. All right, hand me the nerve stem. There you go. You might wanna pay attention here because if this nerve is dead, we're gonna have to close him up and go home. Okay. Ready? But I think third time's a charm. I knew it. What? Underneath that cynical veneer, you're a romantic. OK, last chance. Here we go. Oh, yeah. amazing. Good man. That's what I wanted to see. OK. That one has pure function. Looks like we're in business here. This might actually work. How are you doing down there? Severing the nerve right now. I'm going to prep the other side. Point out a close, please. Is that some pressure allows each fluid overloaded? Well, we've got a plan. Charlie does. Uh, laminectomy. Going from the back, expose the spinal cord, which is like shaving a balloon, but then someone would have to hold the spine out of the way while I blindly chiseled the cancer off the spine from the front. 
You better be able to do this. Craycraft, you sure this is the right level? Yes, L3. We landmarked it. His sats are dropping and his B pressure's way up. Ballpark timeline? I can stabilize him for now, but we can't keep him under much longer. Okay. All right, Raycraft, retract the Dura carefully. It's like tissue paper. Alex? <clears throat> I need an osteotome and a mallet, please. All suction. Jelly, stop, stop. I think you might have nicked the spinal cord. Yeah, I can see the tear. Put him in Trendelenburg. Loops. Yeah, I see a five millimeter tear of the dura. Spinal cord and nerves look intact. Uh, Victor, 601 of filament. Coming. How's it looking, Charlie? I'll know in a minute. See if that holds. George, lower the table. Yeah. Okay, it's holding, no leak. Let's get this tumor out. So the um the curve of your rib is very similar in shape to the curve of your ear. So we're gonna harvest three small pieces of cartilage and we shape them and we wire them together and we make this framework. And then, and this is the cool part, we take that framework and we bury it under the skin of your forearm right about here and with a little suction, that skin adheres to the cartilage and in three weeks, do you know what we have? A shiny new pinna. Oh, this will make a beautiful helix. God, everyone's ears are so remarkably different. Consider Michelangelo's David. Those lobes, God, you just want to pop them into your mouth. Maybe Eddie was right. What? What happens when he goes back out there, keeps gambling, and gets his other ear cut off? Well, then we'll fix that one, too. Seems like a lot of manpower to pour into an active addict. You OK, Williams? You don't seem your usual chipper self. I'm just saying, even he doesn't think he's worth it. Oh, you, uh, you dated an addict. A gambler. Oh. So, this is a little bit of a... Trigger. Yeah. We met at university. He was... my first love. Ouch. I tried saving him from himself, but I was unsuccessful. We are giving this guy a second chance that he will most definitely throw away. That I would bet on. It's developing nicely. Make sure you protect my perforators. This Darwin's tubercle is very subtle, and that is not a bad match, if I do say so myself. It's beautiful. I just hope you get to finish the job. Drain is in. We reattach in three weeks. He just needs to stay out of trouble until then. Yeah, good luck with that. He can do it. I have faith. OK, lift the skin. I'm going to place the strut on the level of the fascia, and then you can stitch it up. You go to the mat for all your patients, even the rich kids with their nose jobs? Of course I do. The heart of plastics is the possibility of transformation, of real change. I will always go to the mat for that. Well, it's too bad you can't give him a face transplant while you're at it. Because until he gets out of Dodge, that's one thing my ex had figured out. Never stop moving. Yes, because you can't hit a moving target. Exactly. OK. okay. Shall we finish this masterpiece? Yes. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> that 
is so cool. Oh my I God. told you. 